Hey guys, it's me Shay with another empties review. It's actually long overdue and I'm ready to throw this stuff away. So I want to go ahead and talk about these things that I have here. Um, they're kind of jumbled up. So I'll start with what's out. This Beauty Secrets nail polish dryer. I like this. Um, I have purchased it again, but only to see if it actually lasts longer than this particular one. Uh, with this one, I probably sprayed it maybe three or four times max and then the can was like empty when I went back for it. And I was like, I just bought this. So I bought it a second time just to see and I am, I'm still using the second one. So maybe somebody was spraying this one in the store and I did purchase this from Sally. So it's good for when you're trying, when you paint your toes or whatever, polish nails or whatever you're doing and you want to get a quick dry on them, spray it and you're good. So this is really good, but make sure you get the ones at the back and not the front because people probably been trying them all right <clears throat> dax beeswax this is the best beeswax that i've ever used i actually feel like it grew my hair um when i would use it in my twist outs it, it gave the perfect definition um and i've never been a beeswax fan but i really like this so dax beeswax i will definitely repurchase this so i like that one <clears throat> Uh, for face, I'm not actually finished with this, but I think it's breaking me out. This is the Vitamin C Facial Cleansing Polish from The Body Shop. Um, I probably have maybe half left, maybe a little over half left. But every time I use this and the Microdermabrasion one, it's still in the Vitamin C um, <clears throat> line that they have at The Body Shop. I get little like bumps on my face so I'm thinking that this is breaking me out so I'll probably try one more time just to be sure and I'll update you guys but for the most part this is what in the trash or to somebody who could use it so that's a no for me no more of this <clears throat> what I do like on my face are these Josie Moran Argan Whites I ran out and I repurchased and I repurchase, repurchase, and repurchase. So, like I said, guys, this is a long overdue empties review, but these are my go-to makeup remover wipes. I love the um, the feel of them. They're the perfect size. Um, you, your face is not super oily when you're finished. It's not dried out when you're finished either. It's just perfect. They're a good price point. I do believe they're maybe they're, they are $13 at Sephora, if I'm not mistaken. And you get 30 wipes. So it's good for a month, maybe. A month of makeup. If you wear makeup every day. I don't really wear makeup every day. But um, when I do, I love using this. It takes off waterproof mascara. takes off your eyeliner. Like, it's really, really good. So I love these ladies. And I am working on one now that I can happily throw away because I'm not saving them to show you them in the empties review. Um, I did uh, try another wipe. Uh, it's the Sephora brand wipes. You only get 25 in these. And what I can say about these that are different from the Josie Moran ones, that they're bigger. So if you have, if you wear a lot of makeup and you just want a bigger wipe, then this is the brand to go for. Um, I did not like the smell. It's been a while. Since I had them, but I do remember that I didn't like the smell of them. Um, so, uh, but anyway, but I will always keep this in my stash, as well as another makeup remover, which is the NARS cleansing water. This um, I do plan on purchasing another one this week because um, NARS has a 20% off coupon on the uh, on the website. But I love this because it does the same thing as these, but it's in liquid form. So we we'll just say if you don't have on a full face of makeup, you just want to put it on a little cotton pad and just get your eye makeup or whatever. It's really good and it's, it's oil free. There's no oil in it to make, you know, you feel like you have grease, like you drop grease in your eyeballs or something. But um, this is really good. I like this. So I will be purchasing this again. This is a definite repurchase. Um, still skin. Um, I'm out of my coconut oil. I have repurchased another one and I'm almost finished with that one. But this has become my daily routine as far as skin at night, skin moisturizer at nighttime. I use, I've always used it in my hair, but I've used it on my skin too 
just recently and i've noticed like really really good things like happening with my skin i'm liking it better so um always always coconut oil for me and my skin so i will always repurchase this and what i like about this brand is that they actually um uh, take the coconut smell out so it's 100 percent natural coconut oil but they take the scent the coconut scent out so if it was coconut scented i don't think i could use it on my face or my hair because that smell would drive me crazy like i love coconut i love to eat it but i just i don't want the smell so that's what i like about the now brand is that is um you can have it without the, the scent of coconut so i like that definite repurchase um i guess we're on a skincare thing so the vitamin enriched face base by bobby brown um i did like this when i used it um but i repurchased it and i think that second batch broke me out this is weird i know so i don't know i don't know how to categorize this because i did like it i love the smell i loved everything about this but i just that second batch kind of threw me off so maybe if i try it again I don't know, maybe it was a hormonal thing during that time when I tried to retry it. But this is, I'm on the fence about this, but you know, I liked it when I used it. I used it all, it's empty. So, eh, I don't know about this one. Um, tea tree oil. I love tea tree oil for pretty much everything. Like sometimes I'll put it in my hand and I'll wipe it and I'll do my face like this, like to do a deep clean on my face. Um, somebody told me you can brush your teeth with this, so I'll put a couple of drops on my toothbrush and I'll brush my teeth with it along with my toothpaste. I'll floss with it, I'll put on my floss and floss with it. Um, it, it is like really, it's a good cleanser. If I have like an acne bump or whatever that I, you know, dealt with, I'll take a q tip, put tea tree oil on it, and put it on it, and like the next day it's gone. So, tea tree oil will always be a staple of mine. Love it. <clears throat> mask of magnanimity by lush um when i got this i was really expecting i don't know what i was expecting like maybe i, I don't know i wanted it to deep cleanse and get whatever out it was really kind of like a mask and it has peppermint in it it has peppermint oil in it so it did give me that tingly feeling but for the most part, I don't really think it did anything spectacular enough for me to repurchase it again. So, I don't know about this one. The e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I L-O-V-E this. Like, it is like really good at exfoliating your, your lips and getting the dead skin off of your lips. I still have some left. <clears throat> So it's pretty much brown sugar and some more stuff mixed in together. The only thing I don't like is when you first get it, it is shaped like a lipstick tube. So you're going to have to take the back of your nail and kind of scratch, uh, scrape it off a little bit so you can get that, you know, expose that rough texture so you can exfoliate your skin. But I will be repurchasing a new one of these. Um, Another reason I didn't like the lipstick shape because I, I like to exfoliate my son's lips with it too. And I don't want him to feel like it's lipstick or something. You know, I had to tell him it was an exfoliator. But um, I do like this. And it was maybe three bucks, if I'm not mistaken, at Target. All right, so I like that. <clears throat> um, Hair. Uh, Kinky Curly Not Today. This is a fave of mine. Always been a staple. I love it as a leave-in. I've got my husband on it. He loves it too. Um, he actually has, um, like, I guess, dandruff or something with dry scalp. And what he's noticed when he uses this, like, it lessens his dry scalp. Like, he doesn't have dry scalp anymore. So, this is really good. And I like this. <coughs> The Moisture Milks V05, um, I love this as a pre-conditioner to my hair. Like I'll put it on, put some oil, oil on my hair as well, leave it on for a while, then wash it out. I really do like this conditioner. It's very cheap, less than a dollar. Can't beat that. Really good. And another favorite conditioner of mine is Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. I love this conditioner. I will mix it with um, water in a spray tube and I'll use that as a leave-in as well. So, I mean, I have a concoction of things that I use and I like to use. So, I love this. Love this. 
love these for my hair. I love my beeswax for my hair. I will be repurchasing these things right here. All right, so guys, that's it. We'll repurchase, yes. Thinking about that, I don't know about that. No, I don't see the need for that. Definitely yes. Always yes. Tea tree oil, always yes. Yes, I will expel I will purchase this again. The lip exfoliator. I have repurchased this. I'm just testing to see if the second bottle is similar to the limited sprays, but I do like it for what it did. So yes. <clears throat> Still on the fence about this. As of right now, no, because I think it breaks me out. Yes, I will repurchase these. And mm, I don't see the need for purchasing this if I love these. You get 30 wipes in here, 25 in here. So, all right, and I forgot the price on these, but they're on no Sephora's website. All right, guys, y'all be blessed. I hope you um, saw something you like, maybe you want to purchase. Leave me comments, questions if you have them. Be blessed. Bye.